Good afternoon. Here we are again, not able to meet together face to face at church or play basketball or connect four or whatever it is we like to do on Wednesdays. But what I do know is what we can still do is we can still connect with God. I talked to the children earlier about how they can still connect with God even though we're not meeting at church. I know earlier you saw pictures of how the church looks right now. It's dark. There's no one there. On Wednesday nights it will be dark as well. There won't anybody be playing basketball or anybody hanging out in the youth room or, or just having conversation. But that doesn't mean we cannot connect with God. See, I always make it a point to make sure that you know that a relationship with Christ is personal. So you can still connect with God, even though we're not meeting on a regular basis. If you look at Matthew chapter 22, verse 37, I want to read this verse real quick to you. It says, Jesus said to them, you shall love the Lord God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Jesus knew exactly what it was to connect with God. That means we connect with God in everything that we do. When we're at home, when we're at school, wherever it is. Right now, the circumstances look like we're all at home. But we do have access to our phones, and to our Bibles, I hope, and to maybe our family. There are so many ways you can stay in contact with Christ. One, of course, is prayer. I hope you will pray every day that you're at home. I hope you not only pray for your family, for your friends, for your health and all that, but I hope you also pray for the things that's going on in this world. And I hope you'll pray for the church as well. I know I'll be praying for you. Another thing you could do is read your Bible. I know you might have some schoolwork to do and you might have some things that are going on, but keep in mind that there's always time to read God's word because it will change your life. Another thing is what you listen to. I encourage you to reach out and look for new Christian music out there. I know there's all kinds of stuff out there. But keep your mind filled with what God wants you to keep it filled with. There are other ways too. You can reach out to them. You can talk to your friends, talk to your family, and be an encouragement to each other. Now, I don't know what about next week. But I do know that it may be a while before we can meet together. But I'm praying that it's very soon. Until then, I'm going to hope continue these discussions on Facebook and YouTube. I hope to stay in contact with you. And if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to call me or text me. Because Christ wants us to stay connected to each other and also to God. Let me pray with you real quick. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these students. I pray you protect them during this time. And Lord, you you give them encouragement. You keep them plugged into who you are. And if they need help, if they need something, that they'll cry out to you. And they'll reach out to to myself or Pastor TG or someone. I pray you look after us. And we love you so much and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to leave you with this. At the beginning of this video, you saw that the church was empty. You saw that the lights were out and there wasn't a lot going on. And that will happen this Wednesday. There won't be anything going on this Wednesday night. The lights will be off. The gym will be empty. The youth rooms will be empty. But remember that the church is more than just a building. I want you to understand that you're a student at Community Advent Christian Church. But you are part of the church. I hope that encourages you today. Can't wait till we can meet again. Until then, remember, make good decisions and find ways to connect with God. Until then, you have a great day.